Hey and welcome to our video. Today we will continue with playing with hexagons inside Microsoft Word using Visual Basic for applications that is using Macro. And this is what you should have from the last time that is a kind of header effect with the hexagons where some hexagons are randomly missing and each hexagon has an inner shadow effect and a subtle gradient and white outline. This is the code used for this effect. It's fairly simple. We are just setting the width and the height of the hexagon and for then we have a loop where for each row and each column we just set the right offset based on the row and inside this random function we draw the hex hexagon. The random function is here just so random hexagons are missing. So what I can probably do is I will probably delete this random function because I want all the hexagons to be in there. I will delete this and if I may also delete the gradient for the fill and the shadow because I don't need it anymore. And I will lower the number of columns to maybe 8 and the number of rows to maybe 2, just so it will be faster to redraw. So let's delete everything and say, see what we have when I run this macro. We have two rows for uh, of hexagons and each he row has uh, 8 columns of hexagons. And what I would like to do is I would like to probably for each hexagon I would like to draw a few more, maybe one or two more hexagons inside. So what I can do is I can take this part of drawing, I'll make it a little easy, easier to read, and I can just copy it and paste it below. So two hexagons would be drawn. Now I want this new hexagon to be a little bit smaller, so I can either update this code here, or I can try to resize it after it's being drawn. And I can do it in two different ways. I can set the width to be for example, width times 0 0.7, so it will be scaled to 70%. And I can do the same with height, so height will be height times 0 0.7, so again, scaled to 70%. If I run this macro again, there is one slight problem, and that is that those new hexagons are being scaled from left top corner. We cannot set how it will be scaled, so we would have to set the left position and the top position. It kind of requires for more calculation whereas since we are in word we have more functions to choose from so instead of setting the width and height we can actually call the function which is called scale height and scale width which requires few parameters first one is factor which is the how much do we want this to be scaled so let's scale it to 70 percent as well then we have this relative to original size which is something that we have to set to zero otherwise it will not work it's, it's obviously not used for shapes, but is, this has to be there. And that's it. So we can set scale height, sorry, scale height, and we can copy it and set scale width. See if this works. I'll delete everything, run this macro again. And it really works, but it's still being scaled from top left corner. Thankfully, there is this optional parameter, which is this name, num, name scale, which sets how we want this scale to be performed. And we can choose from top left, which is the default one, bottom right, or the middle. We want this middle, so I will just say scale equals MSO scale middle, and I will do the same for both. And voila, we have one smaller hexagon inside the bigger one. So what I will do, I will probably duplicate this one one more time. And I may scale it to even smaller value, maybe like 40% or so. And those are very random numbers. You can experiment with your own numbers. So if I run it again, I kind of like the result, but it seems like that the, the difference between the white outline and the fill is a little bit big. So I want this outline to be a little bit bigger. So I will set the line to maybe four, not 34, but just four. Then I will run this again. And just for this effect, um, I will not choose from the team colors going from 4 to 9, but maybe from 1 to 6. That will include also the text colors, which will include also the white colors. So when the color is white, you will notice that it almost, almost seems like that the hexagon is missing. So if I run this again, sometimes the color will be set to white, like in this case or around here, which kind of gives us kind of a random result without the need to actually not drive the hexagon. Although if we want, if we, we can of course set an if condition, testing if the color is white, it will not be drawn. And I think that's almost it. The only change I may made is to 
change the color theme to maybe like this green yellow I kind of like this color theme and maybe I can also say active document active document dot shapes dot select all so once everything is drawn I can jump to the format ribbon and say group everything and that's basically it it was quite fast to draw this time thanks to scale width and scale height function so we don't have to do any you know additional calculations we can just use those two functions to scale whatever you want and that's it for today thanks for watching